Hello, this is Doc here. Um, I'm going to make this quick video to show you how to merge lettuce together. This is a tutorial to help out a buddy in my laser engraving group, but maybe this helps somebody else. Who knows? Here we go. So you set your text in here. Let's just use something really simple for this demonstration. Um, and you click on character. Now you'll notice I already did this before, but... Hello, this is Doc here. I'm going to show you how to merge letters real quick for a, a nice either laser cutout or CNC cutout. Um, this tutorial was inspired by a question posed by one of the members of my epilogue laser fan group. But let's see if we can figure this out real quick. So you type in the word. Typing is fundamental, Doc. All right, there we go. So we have our word selected. Click on character. And the first thing you want to do is generate some negative space between the letters. Now, if we zoom this in real quick, looks pretty good. I think the Y could be a little tighter to the P. So put your cursor there, hold Alt or Option, and use your arrow keys, and it allows you to freehand move some of these letters and make it a little tighter. Some, most cases, it just works. Sometimes you need to add a little extra. Now, uh, in the example that he showed, it had a circle. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Here's a grab your ellipse tool, pop it in the center again hold down the option and shift or alt and shift for PC users you have created a circle let's do the reverse take the stroke and give it a pretty obnoxious stroke like 20 um, looks pretty good I got a piece of Y hanging out but that's easy to fix other than that it looks kind of sort of okay let's make it just a little tighter I like that air that little air gap we can fix that Y piece in a second Anyway, so now we have it. First thing we're gonna do, since I kinda know this fits, is grab the text and press Alt or Option, Shift O, I'm sorry, Control Shift O or Command Shift O, convert the text to outlines. Then you're gonna use Pathfinder to merge them together. Knowing that I got a little problem with the Y, I'm gonna take this point here and kinda tuck it in. Okay. Then I'm going to grab this and pop it right back on the middle. Smart guys help out a lot and looks pretty good. Um, if you want to be absolutely certain, you can always just use the centering devices you have. Now, we have that set. I'm going to go ahead and press... Oh, wait. We forgot an important step. This circle is going to come out messed up if you don't do this first. Click on the option i mean object and press expand and then we're going to tell it to do the fill and stroke so now we have basically a solid shape not you know a circle that will come apart when you don't you don't set it up right anyway so select all of this go ahead and put them to the center now that looks about okay i kind of like it when the h has a little peak so we'll do that and with both items selected once again merge them together come up to object for safekeeping press expand and you have yourself a perfectly cut outable object not that cut outable is a word but if you were to just go there and reverse it take the inner fill off set that sucker to hairline you're basically good to go anyway I hope this helps in some way, shape, or form to somebody. Um, if not, well, you just wasted two minutes of your life. <laughs> anyway.